Yeah, that's my that's a zinc plate, and that's a nano, nano coated copper plate. I'm trying to extract a um, GANS CO2 zinc GANS. Now I got this. It's um what you call it? It's it's got a, a bolted supply, which I controlled with my makeshift resistor. That's for from a car um, sender unit, fuel sender unit, where, where you could adjust the uh, resistance. Now it's, um, I got 0 0.07 amps running through it. I think I should set it to 0 0.05, which is Uh, it's in 0 0.03 amps, which is good, slow, but good. That's the current draw. Now, because of this resistor as well, only, I'm go only sending point, uh, point 0.2, point 0.3 volts through the system. It's not really ideal, but to get to get it uh, to get um, quick gans. I mean, to to get more gans in a short time. That's what you get, but you don't want electrolysis to happen. It won't be gans then. That would be just oxides. Yeah. That's the uh, that's the uh, zinc plate from a uh, zinc carbon battery which I split. That's my nano coated uh, copper. <clears throat> I will run it for like twelve hours like this, and then I'll switch to most ideal way which is using this diode and let it run for another two days it's not that complex it's just a mess of wires so this is uh, negative And you could see the nano coated wire is bubbling, and this is positive. You have to make sure you got the right polarity. So, yeah, you could say I've been running this for about five hours now, and yeah. I want to get the um, more of a CO2 rather than zinc oxide, which I could by which we do we could by just connecting the two plates with just bare copper wire. But you get most of the uh, concentration as zinc oxide. And that's my uh, copper.
Ano coated copper COU2 whatever. It's just running on. It's just <coughs> just put an LED bit in between the circuit. It's been going on for like a day. And yeah, it's doing okay. <coughs> This hasn't been uh, uh, charged up with the voltage. It's just like light joined together with wire. Between the diode on between. The uh, negative side of diode goes to the copper plate. And the positive side of the diode goes to the bare copper plate. Yeah. Let's see what happens. This nano coated plate has been nano coated five times with the uh, butane torques and then um, caustic soda one time on boiling and then three times in steam and another one on cold treatment it's been undercoated for like two weeks but look the voltage whatever reaction just tearing it apart you could see the copper plate now showing after four or five hours <clears throat> I noticed with the with the zinc and with this system zinc and nano coated light it seems that the zinc pulls a lot of nano material from the plate it doesn't happen on on this one on the copper plate, nano coated plate, but with the zinc plate, it pulls a lot of nano coating from the copper plate. So, yeah, you have to apply, you have to introduce oxygen in it. helps this is my shungite Shungite um, pants. It's really nice looking gans. It's from a Shungite stone. Shungite stone with the uh, nano coated copper plate it takes so long to get this much two weeks but yeah this is really nice young guy yes. now this is the previous zinc I made I don't know why it went bluish this is uh, I think this is mixed with Shungite as well, zinc shungite mixed together. So that's why it's got that bluish color. 
and a fluffy and a fluffy nature of gans. I love it. Yeah, it's 50% shungite. See the fluffy thing? The sink, similar to this. The blowish color was, is from shungite. Alright, thanks for watching. I'll see what we could do with this. Thank you.